Hi, it's Fatu with Good to Know. Have you or a loved one ever been affected by a pyramid scheme? Symptoms include getting a random Facebook message from someone you haven't talked to since high school asking if you want to become your own boss, a cousin you hardly talk to asking if you want to buy some knives they're selling, applying for a job only to find out it's a sales pitch for multi-level marketing, being inundated with posts about shampoo on Instagram by some girl who knows nothing about hair care that calls herself a hashtag boss babe. If you've experienced any of these, you've experienced the secondhand effects of a pyramid scheme. So today, we're going to be talking about something I talk about on pretty much every form of social media, pyramid schemes. I'm sick of them. You're sick of them. We're all sick of them. So on today's program, I'm going to explain what a pyramid scheme is, some telltale signs of a pyramid scheme, why pyramid schemes are awful, and I'm going to be naming names. I'm going to name as many companies as I can think of because people deserve to know what they're signing up for. If you listen to this and you still want to be a part of one of these companies, no problem. No problem at all. But don't say nobody ever warned you. Oh yeah, and rate and subscribe to my podcast, of course. Also, today is Valentine's Day, and I'll be putting this out on Valentine's Day, obviously. So, you know, listen to this with your boo, or if you're alone, make a snack, grab a drink, and just relax. So to get things started, what is a pyramid scheme, you might ask? Well, according to Investopedia.com, a pyramid scheme is an unsustainable business model that works by recruiting an increasing number of members at different levels. Such schemes work and remain alive by forcing the recruits to buy no-value products at high cost, and these recruits are mandated to sell them to their next level to recover their money and any surplus profits. And a lot of pyramid schemes reward members for, for bringing along new recruits. So when a recruit can't sell the products they paid a lot of money for, they try to get people they know to join so they can recoup some of those startup costs. And the cycle continues if they can get someone else suckered in. And so now, now is the time. I'm going to let you know who some of these companies are, allegedly. So, Modern Nature, or Monet, Herbalife, Arbon, Unique, Avon, Mary Kay, Rodan Fields, Vector or Cutco, Amway, LuLaRoe, Young Living, Vema, Melaleuca, Shakeology or Beachology, Party Light, Pure Romance. And I don't even remember, what's that one company that like sells the stickers you can put on your nails? Oh yeah, that's a pyramid scheme too, just saying. And if... If, if I name any more of these, this is going to be longer than a Harry Potter movie. So now that you know the names, let's go into the telltale signs. One, you're required to buy lots of inventory. Two, your income is based mainly on the number of people you recruit and the money these new recruits pay to join the company, not on the sales of the products to consumers. And three, you're forced to buy other things you don't want or need just to stay in good standing with the company. If you do any of those things for a job, you're definitely in a pyramid scheme. I work in sales for a consumer goods company, and I've never, ever been asked to buy inventory of products to sell with my own money. And my pay isn't based on sending low-key sales pits messages to my unsuspecting Facebook friends. And if you can't tell by now, I really don't like pyramid schemes. I hate them because they're scams. They're predatory and go after people who are vulnerable and desperate. Some vulnerable groups are high school drops out. Ugh, what am I even saying? High school dropouts, recent grads looking for jobs, single moms, stay-at-home moms, people in low-income areas, immigrants. It's it's awful. The FTC published a study about multi-level marketing pyramid schemes and said failure and loss rates for MLMs are not comparable with legitimate businesses, legitimate small businesses which have been found to be profitable for 39% of over the lifetime of the business, whereas less than 1% of MLM participants profit. MLMs make even gambling look like a safe bet in comparison. And that's from the Federal Trade Commission, folks, the Federal Trade Commission. And not to mention, the idea of pyramid schemes is so outdated when you think about it. 
We can order things online from our phones these days. If I want to buy a shampoo, essential oils, knives that can cut a penny, leggings, makeup, I can order all of that on Amazon Prime and get it in two days. I don't need to buy it from some girl who was rude to me in high school. There's honestly so much more I can dive into about this topic, but this would be so long. And I honestly thought it was going to be longer than this, but it's not that long. So long story short, pyramid schemes really suck. So if you see a job posting or someone tries to recruit you for a job that just seems a little too good to be true, don't do it. Be skeptical, research all the details, ask questions, and if it still sounds sketchy, take the hint. If someone is saying you're going to be making so much money in living your best life, working from home, making your own hours and doing what you want, it's probably a scam. Come on, use your best judgment. So thanks for listening to Good to Know. Don't forget to subscribe and actually please share this today because you never know who might need the memo. So again, thanks for listening and bye.